Hi, I'm Dr. Kurt Wooler from askthedoctor-ms.com. Carpal tunnel syndrome is a very common problem in the United States as well as worldwide, particularly for anybody who has an overuse injury to the wrist. Now that can occur from construction work where you're using a hammer or some other type of vibrating device. Certainly working at the computer or typewriter can lead to those types of problems too. And carpal tunnel can actually be quite debilitating because it creates a tremendous amount of pain, not only in the wrist, but it can all, that pain can also travel up the arm and cause arm pain as, as well, and even neck pain for many people. Typically what happens with carpal tunnel syndrome is it begins with numbness and tingling that can occur in the thumb and the first three fingers. It can lead to weakness in grip strength um, as well as weakness overall in the hand. Um, and as I mentioned before, it can be quite painful. Many times that overuse syndrome with respect to carpal tunnel manifests as pain at night, particularly during sleeping. So there's a couple ways that you can self-diagnose uh, carpal tunnel syndrome. One particular way uh, is something called the Phelan's maneuver. And this is where you t put your wrist or your hands at about a 75 degree angle your wrist essentially are a 75 degree angle and you hold it there for you know a few seconds and if you start to experience pain, ting tingling, numbness in the wrist or hands area it's a pretty good indicator that carpal tunnel syndrome is likely an issue for you. Um, <clears throat> they can do nerve conduction studies where they analyze nerve conduction through the median nerve. The median nerve is the nerve that runs through the wrist area called, called the carpal tunnel and what happens is, is that compression and inflammation in this particular area of the wrist is causing compression on that median nerve affecting the nerve distribution to the hand. Now you can also have other medical conditions, hypothyroidism, diabetes, autoimmune disorders, anything that causes swelling in that particular area of the carpal tunnel can cause compression and inflammation of the nerve. Now, some individuals with multiple sclerosis can also experience what appears to be carpal tunnels too. Because people with MS are going to experience numbness and tingling and sometimes pain in different nerve pathways of the body. Typically in MS, it's going to be affected to one side versus both risks, but it is possible that an individual with MS could also have an overuse injury that is affecting the carpal tunnel. So again, come back and try the Phelan's maneuver and see if it elicits pain, numbness, or tingling. To get you know full confirmation, you'd have to do a nerve conduction study, but this is a pretty good predictor. Most of the treatments, traditional treatments for carpal tunnel, would include anti-inflammatories, sometimes steroid injections, immobilizing the wrist through a wrist guard or wrist um, device to keep it you know at a steady position. And then the, really the last resort would be surgery. There are a number of alternative treatments. Zinc, CoQ10, vitamin C, B-complex vitamins have been known to help reduce the swelling and inflammation in the area of the, of the carpal tunnel. Also, um, bromelain, which is an extract actually of pineapple, has an anti-inflammatory effect. And it's actually been shown that some people who eat a, you know, half a pineapple a day or every other day for a few weeks many times will feel a reduction in the inflammation, pain, numbness, and tingling in that carpal tunnel area. Um, and then other types of you know herbal types of anti-inflammatory creams can also be applied to that carpal tunnel too. So there's a number of options other than just anti-inflammatory medications and you know eventually you know trying to avoid if you can surgery. If you'd like to find out more about carpal tunnel syndrome and the connection with multiple sclerosis, you can read my article at msrelief.com. If you have more specific questions with respects to complementary treatment and diagnostic options for multiple sclerosis, please join me in the member forum at www.askthedoctor-ms.com. Thanks.